there, I'm Katie, and today I want to share with you a tip. This is my secret tatting step, and it's something that I had to learn the really hard way through a lot of trial and error. But when I did finally figure it out, it helped my tatting a lot. It enabled it to be a little bit more sturdy, and also to naturally lay more flat. So please give this step a try, watch this video, and see if it helps you. And if it does, then please implement it into your tatting routine. Alright, let's get started. As you can see, I've already made two rings and one chain. Now I'm going to turn it over to reverse my work to begin my second chain. And it's at this point that we do the special step that I was talking about. And all it consists of is you take your needle and you find the very last double stitch that you made in your previous chain. And it should be right here, right at the top where it joins to the ring that you just made. And so when you find that stitch, you're going to put your needle right through it, right like that, and pull the needle up through, pulling the thread tight. And once you've done that, you're ready to go ahead and start your next chain as you normally would following your directions. For this particular one, it's three double stitches separated by a pico, and you do that three times. I will do that really quick. Now that I have all my stitches on my needle, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the needle through as you normally would. like that. Place a knot at the top as you normally would. And there you have it. When you look back on where the arches kind of join at the top, you can see how it lays a little bit flatter right there and that's what's also going to give it extra strength. Now it's still nice to iron this, press it, but it doesn't need to be ironed as much or as often, which is great. I went ahead and added another ring, and so I'm ready to do my step again. So we're going to reverse the work, and as before, we're going to find that last double stitch of the chain. Insert the needle, right like that, and pull it through. And it's good to note that you only do this on the chain. You never do this when you're starting a ring. You only do this special step when you're starting a chain. So at this point, again, we're ready to just do our chain pattern. Once we have all our stitches on the needle, slide it off, pull it into the arch shape, and make a knot. And there you go. Get a good look at what that looks like. And again, it's right here is where we're taking that extra step that's going to strengthen it and help it to lay a little bit flatter. So I hope you found this helpful. Give it a try, 